It's Randy T-Bird out here in Arizona on a cloudy day. On a Saturday, rain's coming. Not till this afternoon, no, not till this evening though they're telling me and then tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, it's gonna be raining. Anyway, I just tried a little different ca camera setup today, so we'll see what's going. I'm gonna run down to the the dealer, just a short hop today. Trying out a new microphone setup. Hopefully I got the bugs sorted out of that. But at any rate, I spent the morning working on that. Just been a busy week at work. A lot of new things, uh, a lot of new challenges, working on that. And uh, I'm getting by. It's nice to get that regular paycheck. Yeah, you know, work with some nice people, and that's good. Anyway, just out on the Dyna, short hop today. God, I love this bike. Gives you a reason for living. Anyway, the temperature and it was in the high 70s, mid to high 70s, uh, most of the week, and then today it's cooled off quite a bit. And, I say with that storm coming in, it's gonna it's gonna cool off. And I watch this guy. What's he doing? Right here at the Ford dealer. They got a parking area right out in front. People back right into traffic. A little sketchy. See, the dealer's got a lot of cars now. And finally, got some inventory after two years I practically have nothing I thought the Lincoln dealer across the road here must have been close to going out of business because they had so few vehicles and I guess uh, I guess their service probably keeps them going but yeah it was pretty sketchy for a while I mean the year 2022 automobiles 2021 2022 is a very kind of a rare thing and we got a lot of traffic today. Maybe people were out doing things before the weather turns, I guess. Either that or it's just that time of the day on Saturday. Well, that was a dumb move. You make a U-turn while people are barreling down the road here. Anyway, pretty much got to expect that from some of these automobile drivers these days. I don't have a whole lot going on today. Just, uh, just you know, cruising around and recording some video and seeing how that turns out with the new microphone. I haven't got up to any kind of real speed yet. But as soon as I hit the freeway, that'll change. This is a long light. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well and enjoying your days. And uh, if you can't ride, I hope you're doing things that that amuse you or to keep you happy or just keep you busy in general. I know we've had some brutal cold weather up in the north. And uh, well, it's been temperate down here. There we go. Anyhow, hitting the freeway. I had the 360 lens on this camera. Let's see what kind of how this video is going to look at 4K. Let's see how that works out. It's pretty much just a test today to make sure my audio is decent. I say I spent the morning trying to figure out why the new microphone setup wasn't working very well. Hopefully this fixes it. If not, this won't be a usable video. So the dealership's having some sort of event today. Some kind of a some kind of a suspension workshop or something like that. I don't know. It's not anything I can afford, but I'll go down anyway and maybe get a look at some of the new bikes 
the 2024s that are out. Uh, I guess from looking at the uh, the videos, the teaser videos that Harley's putting out, um, there's going to be a Road Glide ST CVO using some of the CVO and the new upgrades to it. Might be a 121 from what I can tell from the little snippets that they've given us on the interweb. And uh, of course, you know, the CVOs are expensive, but uh, you get a lot for the money. But uh, I guess uh, the new fairings, uh, at least on the S models, are going to transfer over from last year's uh, big CVO update. So that'll be good to see what they do with the suspension if they bring over the, the Brembo brakes and the inverter front end and everything. I know they're due for an upgrade. The basic architecture has been around since 2014 after they did the so called Rushmore updates. And, uh, yeah, it's due. I know the CVOs, they really have made some nice stuff. So, hopefully those uh, changes will be positive and received well by the, the buying public. Uh, you know, things have not been all that busy <laughs> lately in the motorcycle sales world. So, hoping for the best. Uh, I love the innovation that comes out and the fact that the everybody out there is putting out amazing stuff. It's just... You can't go wrong just about with anybody manufacturer because of the uh, just what what everybody's doing is just just amazing stuff it don't matter whether it's Honda or KTM or BMW it's just it's a really a golden age of motorcycles it truly is well this sky is gloomy today I prefer the sun shining myself there are those in my life that like cloudy, gloomy days, but, uh, you know, I like a little bit of uh, blue sky and that glowing yellow orb in the sky. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Yeah, a lot of traffic today. All right, here we go. I'll get to see some people here that I worked with for a while. Some good people there here at the dealer, and I uh, haven't been there in a couple weeks, so we'll see what's new. Probably not anything new, but you know, except for a few of the 24s that came in early, the ones with absolutely uh, no change. Whoa, they got a crowd here today. I wonder what they're giving away besides a free lunch. It's all right, I'll take that. Wowzers. Desert Wind Harley Davidson. As you can see, they're doing the the Rider Academy out here. Those little Harley 440s that they don't sell in the U.S. and they're just in the Academy. Man, quite a crowd today. This is Randy T-Bird out here in Arizona, signing off for the day. We will talk to you later. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, share, sure appreciate it. All right, guys, going to let me in. Right on. Man, what a crowd today. Anyway, we will talk to you again.